Jack Septica. <laughs> Sorry, okay, it came in a little hot on that one. You <laughs> sound like a shoe or something. <laughs> Maybe I did. Let me do that again. <laughs> you Jack know that that's the one that's going to be used. <laughs> Feeling bad. You think you're so smart, don't you? Not even a little bit. Because <laughs> today we're checking out. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Oh, I know that was going to be the reaction. Oh, no, <laughs> this is the type of video where I'm like, should I ever record this for myself? No, I don't want to look stupid. I don't want people to know how dumb I really am. If there's anything that dumb, we'll just cut it out. What age is fifth grader? Because we didn't use that grading scheme. How do you grade your schemes? I don't know what grades are, okay? Okay, who am I trying to be smarter than? You're What's already the failing. <laughs> 10 to 11. Okay, 10 to 11 year olds are smart. No, no, they're not. They're really <laughs> well, dumb. I'm going to be smarter than I am. No, you know what? <laughs> Fuck this. Yeah. I'm going to be smarter than a 10 year old. Yeah. We'll do it together. All right, here we go. Question one, Jack said to get. How many cups are in 28 fluid ounces? Who uses ounces? <laughs> Use the metric system. 700 mils is like 16 ounces, I think. 700 mil? Why did you know that? I don't, I think because I ordered a drink somewhere in America and I was like, okay, how much is 16 ounces? They have 700 milliliter drinks in America? God damn! <laughs> yeah, and that's just coffee. <laughs> okay, so you said that was 1.6. I think, I don't know. So it would make sense it's 3.5 then. Is that your answer? Yeah, it's definitely not 14. That's way too high. I would have guessed either of these. I have no fucking clue. The only reason. Yeah! Yes! Okay. Stupid children! <laughs> it's only because 7 goes into 28 easy. <laughs> so what, what is 3.5? We are smarter, okay. Jack. We are Don't, so. Stop using cups. Stop using ounces. Stop using like feet, inches. I gotta be honest, not... Jack. I had the same opinion, but inches actually makes a lot more sense. Than centimeters? Yes. How? Because you build stuff in inches. Because it's way that's the more way convenient. The system tells you to. It's way more convenient. I go here. I go to the get stuff song. It's like, oh, can you do this 600, 621? This is like, no, I wish okay. I could just tell them inches. Sure. My table is like 32 inches off the ground. That's easier to say than 60 yeah. or whatever. Yeah. But when you're trying to cut a table or something and it's like, oh, it's five and three eighths inches. Okay, that's stupid. Yeah, okay, the, look, three eight, the three A's, you're right. Now, I look, we're, we're, you, you convinced we're me. We're supposed to be working together here. I'm sorry. Yeah, I put all right. of this energy on you. It should, be, <laughs> it should be thrown against the American education system. Sorry. Which we are clearly smarter than. Okay, no, I, I think you're right. I think you're right. Can we just end that, the quiz here? <laughs> I forgot about the three quarters and stuff. That's dumb. What white puffy clouds are known as fair weather clouds? Again. <sighs> I have no fucking clue. <laughs> I think it's cumulonimbus, but cumulus sounds so familiar as well. The only one I recognize is cumulus. I never heard of a cumulonimbus. Well, I don't need to know clouds in everyday life. Like walking around the park with Evelyn being like, oh, it's very cumulonimbus today. You've just uh, described what's wrong with the, <laughs> the school system, <laughs> Jack. <laughs> the kids need to be taught about taxes, laws. <laughs> the only experience I have with clouds is, look at that cloud, it's pretty. <laughs> yeah, what does yeah. that look like? Is that, is that dog? Is that a cumulonimbus? <laughs> I just uh, like it's... nimbus as a word. Just pick it, pick it. It's all on me. No! Oh, you were right. I should have known. <laughs> I was just about to say as well, it sounds like cumulus, cumulonimbus, like they go in layers. Mm. Okay, just... you're smarter than a fifth grader. I'm not. I, no, I, I just... wasn't sure. I can you just, just imagine like 10 year olds watching this video and be like, it's cumulonimbus. Kids are yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, yeah? no How one knows. How much tax it. you pay, kid? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what are you contributing to the society, huh? Yeah, what's your major in college, idiot? <laughs> but I haven't gone to college yet. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, between 1455 and 1485, the War of Roses took place in what country? I'm so glad to put the years in there because I would have been so confused otherwise. <laughs> The War of the Roses. I I thought we would have this in the bag, Jack. I gotta be honest with you. This, <laughs> now I'm getting worried. Fifth graders <laughs> learning this. Isn't it the worst when you're you were taught to learn dates? Did they do that in Ireland? Yeah. 
Yeah, dates for battles and stuff. I'm like, why? There's a lot of dates. There's like Irish independence and when we got our independence from England and things like that. You love talking about that all the time, every yeah. conversation. <laughs> when, look, <laughs> it's all I have. <laughs> I uh, want to say France, but the but War of the Roses. I feel like did any wars take place? That sounds British to me. Yeah, but I don't know. I can't name a single war in that period. It's a toss of the coin on this one. Okay, let's do the classic. Ula doola do, inkalana cough, kofalana binkabana ula doola do. It's France. It's England. No, no. Oh, what is we the... should have known. They, it roses. would have been a French name if it was in France. <laughs> A series of civil wars fought over the English throne. I've already forgotten about it. I don't care. <laughs> Why should I care? Seriously. I just went to the Tower of London to see like all the torture devices and everything. I got so much history. There's so and... many King Georges. Come on, we have a lot more questions. We can do this. A common type of radio wave is referred to as a VHF. I wanted to say VHS. What do the letters VHF stand for? Video home frequency. Very high frequency. Variable. I would have said variable high frequency because variable too, sounds yeah. scientific. Yeah, it does. Very high just sounds dumb. I've never heard of VHF before. Well, it can't be video homing frequency because it's a radio wave. Yeah, I was just about to say that too. <laughs> I'm glad we uh, came to that conclusion early yeah, instead of picking that one. <laughs> I, I'd say variable just because it sounds more scientific. Yeah, I agree. And radio waves go... Fucking... <laughs> I was just want to say radio waves go up and down and they vary a lot. This is very not... high frequency. What <laughs> scientist came up with that? It's less effort to just say very high frequency than VHF. God, no, not really. Fuck. <laughs> God damn these stupid ten-year-olds. <laughs> Why are ten-year-olds learning this? They don't know this. I can they guarantee don't know you. This. I can go to the park, yeah, find I wanna a ten-year-old, yeah, yell do at them. <laughs> What is a very high frequency? Yeah, what does VHF stand for? Where was the Battle of the Roses? <laughs> if Trez is facing north, is Trez a name? I, I thought he was speaking French. Uh, and turn 90 degrees to his right, what direction is he now facing? Well, I'll, I can tell you this one. W one, two, three, east. Okay, Jack, yes. you didn't say anything. <laughs> I I you, you kept talking, I didn't want to talk over you. And I was like, wait, 360 degrees would be all the way back around, so halfway would be yeah. south, so east. Yeah, stupid children, you don't know yeah, this one. Yeah, but they didn't know that, go face east. Do you want to read some? Sorry, I feel like uh, I'm... Frog. What? The class? It's fr frog. Damn, you're so fast. Are you wait, no, that it actually could be the, the princess and the pea. Oh god, oh no. No, you said frog. You were so sure of frog. The classic Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale, The Real Princess, is better known as The Princess and the... <clears throat> I don't wait, recognize pr princess... princess... It's Princess and the Pea, no? Yeah, wait, what am I thinking of? Something in the frog. I think it's that Disney movie that they did recently. Yeah, I thought that that was based on that, but Princess and the Pea is the one where she like has a pea under her mattress. Yeah. Why do we know that so story? It's... Are we lucky named it's... Pea? I'm not I sure, to be honest. Yeah. Okay, Pea. Yes. Oh, thank God, yeah. Pea. I was so... Yes. <laughs> I, I locked in Frog way too early on that. I apologize. <laughs> you were trying to show up a little bit, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, I, I just saw Frog. I saw Princess. It connected in my head. I shouldn't do that. That's how people online jump to conclusions and assumptions. Uh, yeah. Which word contains a long vowel sound in the following sentence? Dogs like tennis balls. Long vowel. They must be balls, right? Balls isn't an answer. Because <laughs> I was thinking the exact same thing. I'd say dogs. It must be like, dogs then. Dogs. Like, like is quick. Tennis yeah. is quick. Yeah. Dog. Okay. No. Oh no. What? We're dumb. Oh no. We're dumb. What's a vowel? I don't know the English. I can blame my English at least. A e i o u. Oh okay. <laughs> Ten. Tennis. What was the thing? Like. Like. That doesn't have a long... That doesn't have a long vowel sound? That feels like a trick question. Maybe... Like... Dogs. <laughs> like... Dogs this is like, like a... tennis balls. There's no way a fifth grader knows this. That's weird. A fifth grader heard dog and goes for the answer dog. But the problem isn't that, Jack. The problem is that we try to use logic here and it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm Irish. You're Swedish. I have an accent. You don't speak English as your first language. It's fine. Uh, yeah. yeah, let's play with that. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, f capitals. Okay, Budapest is the capital of what European country? I know. This I want to say Hungary. No, it's not. Sorry. Is it not? <laughs> no. Is it Austria? Oh God, what if I f this up? Now I'm worried. I've been to Portugal. Is it Portugal? I think it is Portugal. Budapest does not sound like a Portuguese word. I know. F now I'm worried. You think it's Hungary? I think it's Portugal. Just because Budapest sounds Hungarian, but I I honestly have no idea what the capital I of any of these are. I know what the capital of Hungary is. We've trusted your intuition in the past and we've gotten no. wrong, so I'll yeah, take exactly. Portugal. I'll take okay. the blame for it. <laughs> we are so bad, Jack. I said Hungary! What are you saying we're so bad? <laughs> we are so dumb. What's the capital? What is the capital of Portugal? Uh, Portugal. I feel like as soon as I hear it, Lisbon. Lisbon. Yeah. As soon as I hear it, I knew it. Yeah. The worst part is I've been to Lisbon and I had a great time. <laughs> what's, what's the capital of Ireland? Uh, Ireland City. My God, man. <laughs> it gives it a D. Oh, Dublin. Yeah. There Thank you go. You. See, if you had to <laughs> L on the other one, I got it. All right. Can we still be friends now? Is that how that works? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Stockholm is the capital of Sweden or whatever. Yes, you are correct. <laughs> Everyone knows that. <laughs> now a national historical park. What site was headquarters for George Washington's army oh in the God. winter of 1777 to 78? It's Bunker Hill. Isn't it? Bunker Hill is the only one I've heard of. Really? I was just memeing. Uh, last time we went with my intuition, it went big bad. Bun sure. Bunker Hill. It, it, oh, and we were all... There, there was dead. no intuition about it. It was just... <laughs> I've never heard of the others. <laughs> Oh my god! We have like three Should we rights. Scrap the video, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. Live in it. Oh. I don't know this either. The what simple is this? predicate in the following sentence: Taylor body slammed her opponent. <laughs> what? What is a predicate? <laughs> I mean, hell, I'm back to school. I hate this. Yeah, Why did this I is do this? awful. This sucks. <laughs> I have never been taught any of this shit in school. This is American history or American education. What did you learn in fifth grade? I don't remember. <laughs> I remember studying the Titanic. Oh, April yeah. 14th, 1912. <laughs> wow, <laughs> you know those dates. All right. Yeah. Yeah, maybe if that question comes up, we'll get a point. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just lock it in. Start saying off all the knowledge you know about nothing so people know you're smart. <laughs> What is the simple predicate in the following sentence? Taylor, Taylor body slammed her opponent. Predicate would imply like to predicate something to. What does that mean? Go before it. Right. Like maybe Pre what's the scene for it or something? Uh, to me, my intuition says body slam. Yeah, that's where my mind was going. So. But that also feels like too easy and everything's been like a trick Look, question. We've gone with intuition, been wrong. We've logicked it out, been wrong. Yeah, you're we've right. We've guessed randomly, been wrong. Full what circle, can... back to my intuition. <laughs> Just it go body slam. Yeah! 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 You're so smart! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I <hate> shit. <laughs> By definition, okay. a prism is a solid figure that has many con congruent face? <laughs> What's a congruent? Congruent, I mean, is, I think means just like together like, or like they converge uh, or like, <laughs> that could be really wrong. Well, it has all the colors. How many colors? It's more than four. I will go six. Well, see, That's the thing is a rainbow has seven colors, doesn't it? Uh, green doesn't count. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I thought Sing. you were saying this from some like scientific school. <laughs> yes, I know these things. Isn't there a thing though, like one of the colors isn't actually a color in the- You know what, it doesn't matter. I don't care. It's six. Two! I was about to say it's four or six. There's no way it's two. <laughs> look up- look up a picture of a prism. We've all seen that album cover. There it is. I ain't two there. Let me tell you that. <laughs> what? Wait, look at the one there, bottom left. What? I think I don't think we understand the question. It's a solid figure that has many congruent bases. Okay, so prism. Oh, so it's just like... Oh, like opposing... Just the base of it? Where light would go through? Is that it? All right. It's like the top and bottom of it. Cool. Cool. What a great question. Or like opposing... Is that we've, been, we've been rigged. This is bullshit. <sighs> We're getting shafted by this. From now on, all correct. Oh, sure. In 1821, Moses and Stephen Austin received 18,000 acres of land in what would become what U.S. state? 
Texas. Moses, Moses lived in 1821? Austin, Texas. Moses and Stephen Austin founded Austin, Texas. Do you really think Pick so? Pick Texas, Felix. Do, Pick do you Texas. Know, no, 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 no. Let's think about this. You jumped to conclusions before. <laughs> Sure. Okay. Logic it out for me. But no, but why, why Texas? It's just because they have the name Austin. Oh, Austin okay. is a place You're in right. Texas. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> that is good logic. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we always make fun of Americans for not knowing geography. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, this is their payback of like shit they learn in U USA yeah, for some true. reason. The mitre cardiac like, is the powerhouse of the sound. Like, oh, yeah, yeah it's right. like find Sweden on a map, and everyone's like, "Is it here?" And they <laughs> click it's, like it's Denmark, <laughs> Norway. That's close, at least. <laughs> That's true. I, I would be happy if they got that. <laughs> I'd be just happy if they clicked Europe. <laughs> Are you from Sweden? Oh, like your chocolate. I'm like, yeah, we have chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> And like the ski, I'm like, yeah, you're right. We do have skiing too. <laughs> we have snow. <laughs> I think you mean Switzerland, but thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Which of the following is a homophone for the word one? I have never in my entire life heard of a homophone. Lost <sighs> is an antonym of it, right? Like the opposite. Yes, I know an antonym. Correct. A synonym is one that's similar. Mm. Homophone, I think, is how it sounds. So I think it's one, like one. Okay, that makes sense. Damn, Irish logic. <gasps> Irish logic wins. Let's go. That See, was I want to say like that when it comes good. to language and English, I actually kind of know a few things, and I'm like, no, I got one wrong earlier. Never mind. <laughs> No, 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 you got it. That was great. Yeah. Oh, math. Okay. Math, math. You're much better at math than I am. No, I'm not. Why would you say that? If you take the square root of 16 and add it to the square root of 9, the answer you get is the square root of what number? Oh. So you take the square root of 16, which is 4, and add it to the square root of 9, which is 3, so you get oh, 7. Oh, square root. Sorry, you're right. The answer you get is the square root of what other number? So 49? Yeah. They try to trick us. Yeah, but they I had to like read that real slow. I, I read squared for some reason. That's why I got lost. Okay. Uh, uh, Mexico is bordered on the south by Belize. And what other Central American country? Yep. <sighs> I'm this so is... sorry, Mexico. I have no idea about your geography. I don't even know North America geography. Yeah, I barely I... know Europe. <laughs> <sighs> Guatemala sounds the funniest. <laughs> What do you mean sounds the funniest? Guatemala. It goes off your tongue. You mean it's the most fun. You can't say it's the funniest. No, it's the funniest. Okay. Wait, you don't know English? Go back to school, Jack. Guatemala! Oh, oh it's a big <laughs> <laughs> Guatemala was the only one I was leaning towards. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you, you say that after you see the answer. Okay, I see how this goes. <laughs> I'm just really smart. <laughs> Which of the following is a scientific term for an organism that makes its food from inorganic materials? So not embryotroph, because that's an embryo, which is an egg, which is organic. Mm. Autotroph might be the thing, like it makes it from... Does that just mean it's autonomous? I don't know. I don't know what heterotroph means. Heterosexual. I want to say autotroph. Okay, I'll trust your intuition. Let's go. Nice. We should technically get like... Because we have three options. We should technically get a third right, right? If we don't get even a third right, then we're technically dumber than a, a monkey that would literally just guess the answers. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing. A monkey wouldn't try and use logic. Yeah, they would just guess. So they would get a third right. <laughs> the guys could go to hell. We're going to beat the monkeys. Okay? You're that's our dumb! Goal. <laughs> <laughs> when paired with a helping verb like have or has, this word go turns into what word in the past tense? Boing. Have, has, go, gone, gone. It's go, gone, gone. You have something, he has something. You go there, he goes there. It's goes or gone. Because it would be have had then, if it was gone, I think. That's my, I'm on my last two brain cells at the moment, Jack. I gotta be honest with you. I don't, I'm completely <laughs> relying on you at this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was gone. I thought uh, it was a trick. See, a monkey would get it right because he doesn't overthink. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <sighs> which of the following words can be used as an adjective? It has to be smooth. It's a describing word. Mm-hmm. Smooth. Easy. Oh. 
See, now I'm second guessing everything. Yeah, right? Because it seems like trick question all of it. All right, we're almost there. Round the number 350 to the nearest 100. 400, right? Because if it's 50 or over, you round up. I didn't know that was a rule, to be honest with you. Uh, well, that's the thing, dude. Does everybody use that rule, or is that just something that I heard growing up? And it's if actually you've wrong? heard it, I would definitely go with it. Yeah, nice. Oh. Monkeys. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is the correct spelling for a system built to carry water? Oh, see, I want to say aqueduct, because aqua is water, but this could be a thing where it's like, in ancient Greece, it was actually spelled aqueduct. <laughs> I want to go for the obvious answer. I would go with aqueduct, just because it's aqueduct. Yeah! See? I, <laughs> and you were right, because Mar Martin speaks Italian, it's based on Latin, so you were totally on point with that. <laughs> yeah! I was like, how far back are we going? Are we just going with a modernized spelling? Oh, uh, let's go. Martin, you need the help. Thank you, Marcia. She came in clutch in the end. Does she know anything about the rivers in the US? <laughs> Which of these rivers lies entirely within the US? Well, I only know the Mississippi River. Colorado's like north-ish, right? I feel like yeah. that might go through Canada, but I don't uh, know how far north Colorado is. Yeah, I feel uh, like I've heard of places like Colorado maybe in Canada too. At the, I'm saying this as if I actually know anything. I, I'll go <laughs> Yukon. I have no idea where Yukon River is, so yeah, let's... You, we intuited two of the other answers, so let's just... It's Mississippi. I thought <sighs> for sure that passed through all the way. If Kevin plans on visiting the three tallest mountains in the world, what continent will he be visiting? I just realized that I have no idea where Mount Everest is. It's in Asia. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very mountainous region. You don't watch uh, Mount Everest uh, documentaries? Can't say I have. I may, I may have to bookmark those. <laughs> Next time. All right, last question. What month is named for the Roman god of war? March, because it's Mars. Damn, you were fast. Let's go! Fuck yeah! Alright, let's see the result. Oh no! Yeah, we beat the monkeys! <laughs> 60th percentile! That means we passed, right? 60 passes, right? Yeah, it says congrats. It says it's congrats. Green. <laughs> the kids look happy. <laughs> We're smarter together. I'm gonna keep thinking like a monkey and say, we did it. <laughs> Next time, if we, if we ever do a test, Jack, we'll just cheat off each other and we'll we'll clearly beat the system. Hell yeah. We did it, Joe. We <laughs> did it. Doing this. It's awful. I regret it so <sighs> much. This is the we thing that everyone's so quick to judge when you're answering these questions in a video, but if they had to do it themselves, how many would you get right? Everyone watching this, I want you to actually answer these honestly without googling them mm -hmm. and see how many you get. Yeah, see how many. And write you it get. in the comments. Well, they probably played along and was like, yeah, I know that. That's what I do when I watch Jeopardy. <laughs> right. Right. It's always yeah. like, oh, of that? course it's that one because it has that <laughs> yeah. in it. <laughs> Useless information. All right. And if, every if, single thing we heard here, I forgot. Battle where, of Roses. Where is the war? Of is England. Oh, hell yeah. We <laughs> all learned something you that here one. today. And if you learn, <laughs> smash like, subscribe, check out Jack channel, and see you next time. Bye bye. Hit him with the whip. Are you control of your internet experience? Well, take control today with NordVPN. Check out nordvpn.com slash pdf5 for the greatest VPN of all time. Oh, look at all these trash VPNs. So <laughs> glorious NordVPN. NordVPN actually care about your security and they have a cybersecurity awareness campaign. For example, lesson one, this one's for free. If you connect to a public Wi-Fi, anyone could be hosting that. Anyone can go to Starbucks and set up, hey, free cafe Wi-Fi, you wanna join? Or right, boom, got all your shit. Always use the VPN when connecting to public Wi-Fi. Rule number one, everyone knows this. For only a couple bucks a month, you can protect yourself. And of course, NordVPN, the greatest VPN, has another level of security with threat protection. You don't even have to connect to a VPN to use it. It adds another layer, protects your downloads, protects from malware, malicious trackers, intrusive ads, all that stuff. Bing, bang, boom, NordVPN got you protected. <laughs> But of course, one of the greatest things that I use for a VPN is I have it on my TV. If I want to watch any streaming service from another country, which since I'm in Japan right now, is very, very useful. One click, connects super fast, and you can watch whatever you want. It's just one of those things that is always nice to have. 
And right now, if you sign up with the link in the description, nordvpn.com slash PewDiePie, for a two-year deal, you get additional four months for free. It's an incredible offer. I highly recommend it. You won't regret it. You will only miss it and curse it if you don't have it when you want it. I use it every single day. Thank you, NordVPN, for sponsoring this video.